Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? I am your fellow Virgo Ash, here to be another reading for you. Happy March, Virgo. I cannot believe it's March. I feel like we just said Happy New Year to one another. Time is going so fast, Virgo. That's crazy to me. I hope that you have a wonderful month. I hope that it's filled with nothing but good things, okay? May you get everything that you pray for. May you see things start to move forward. May you feel better than you've ever felt, okay? I'm wishing nothing but good things for you, all right? This is a general, not personal reading, okay? Take what resonates and leave what does not. Virgo, I do have a membership over here for you, okay? And I post really over there Monday through Friday. Even if I don't post on the public side over here on YouTube, I always post over there okay and you are more than welcome to join the membership virgo i encourage you to do that all right now let's go ahead and get started and thank you to all of those of you who move from patreon to this membership i most certainly appreciate you thank you to all my new subscribers old subscribers members on the other side i appreciate you okay so let's just see, Virgo, what's happening. You're starting with the sun. Okay, so let's really see what's going on. Let's really see what's happening. So something changed. Are you cold? Virgo, you could be cold. Uh, maybe you had to close your window. Or maybe you went from hot to cold, cold to hot. Maybe you're having some type of hot flash. You could be like, what's going on with me? Okay, that could be the energy, all right, Virgo? Definitely kind of feels like, like I said, the energy seems to change. Maybe the temperatures change or I don't know. It seems like maybe you go from feeling hot to feeling very cold. There seems to be this situation that seems to to, to keep you in a bit of a serious energy. You have the sun. So there's something that happened. And it looks like this is from the past, but it, it's popping back up and it feels very cold. It feels like a very cold energy or something where it, it, it causes you to have a lot of different feelings, Virgo, or to have many different emotions surrounding the situation. Spirit, tell me more about the sun. Tell me more, because it's like, like I said, in a way, it's like you're feeling good. You know what I'm saying? You're feeling happy, but there's one particular thing or this particular circumstance that just isn't funny to you. It doesn't cause you to laugh. It doesn't bring up good feelings. It doesn't bring up good emotions. And it's like it doesn't do that because for where you are, you're trying to grow. For where you are, you're trying to move forward. So you may feel like this affects your happiness. Something's affecting your happiness and it's like you're you're like, I'm not allowing it to. Yeah, so it, it's this five of swords energy, this seven of swords energy. So Virgo, there's a situation here where it feels like things have been left unfinished, like I don't know if you removed yourself from someone, they don't understand, someone removed themselves from you, You maybe you didn't understand, you have to take what resonates, okay? But nonetheless, there is this removal of energy, right? Someone removed themselves from a situation here, the Seven of Swords, kind of seems like Virgo, you got low. You got real low. And one thing about a Virgo getting low, that trust and believe it was for a reason. Trust and believe. We may not say anything, but trust and believe that it is for a reason. And the reason seems to be one of two things, right? You got low because either you feel that the energy that was surrounding this wasn't good for you. So like maybe every time you go around a group of people, there's a problem or every time you go around a group of people, it's an issue or, you know what I'm saying? You may feel like the energy isn't just as genuine as you, okay? Whether this is at work, home, family, whoever, you know what I mean? It's just given that, you know what I'm saying? It's like secret animosity or some type of hate that someone may have for themselves. I don't know if they want to spew it towards you or what the issue is, but that's what it feels like. For others of you, Virgo, it could be that there's a situation that it's like you're kind of it's like you're involved in, I don't know, it's like this middleman energy. So either that it's like someone came to you, they told you something, Virgo. Like I said, this may not actually be your issue, but it still affects you for some reason. Like I said, I'm not sure if you're in the middle of this. I'm not sure if this like 
you know, I don't know, has something to do with you or you know too much, but that's what it is. It seems like you know too much. You know the inside scoop, Virgo. You know what was really going on. You know what was really happening. The seven of swords, yes, is definitely letting me know that again, like I said, that there's some inside information here. There is some inside information. And for some reason, that it's like it's popping back up. Why is this happening, spirit? Because Virgo, it honestly seems like you don't want to be bothered with it, to be honest with you. It honestly seems like you're trying to focus on your happiness, trying to focus on your fulfillment, on your balance, like just on your overall peace. It pops back up because of the Queen of Cups. I don't know if it had to do with your child. Um, again, it pops back up. Because their problems are not your problems. It pops back up because spirit wants you to know you don't have to deal with this. Um, the queen of cups is like setting some type of boundary or keeping some type of distance in a way where it is like, okay, I don't have to deal with this or I don't know. Like I said, someone has some type of problem or there's some type of issue. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like in a way spirit doesn't want you to trust this queen of cups. Yeah, it's like it pops back up because things haven't changed. The seven of swords. Yes, you've removed yourself, but it's like it pops back up, Virgo. Yeah, and it's like still so that you can keep your distance. Their problems are not your issues. And maybe you're having to keep your distance or remove yourself for some reason. Um... Yeah, because you're moving forward, you're doing something new, you're doing something different. It's like the past, it's almost like the past still wants to hold on to you. Um, There's some type of issue there that, and again, like in a way you don't want to be bothered with. You're, you're not interested in being around next to, near, close to, yes, with that page of pentacles energy. You're focusing on something else. You're doing something new. Yes, someone has some type of problem, but it's not your problem. Yes. Because you removed yourself. Someone can't figure out why you removed yourself, where you went, what happened. So someone from the past is coming towards you. Okay, but it still feels like there's unfinished business or there's things that haven't been discussed, haven't been talked about. Some type of elephant in the room. I don't know if you receive a text message, Virgo, okay? That could be the case. I'm not sure if someone's watching you on social media, but that's what it feels like, too. They're watching you on social media or they're keeping tabs on you. Maybe you have a podcast or a public platform or something where you're able to be watched, and congratulations and shout out to you for that. Okay, but they're definitely watching you. Uh-huh, keep it tapes, trying to figure out what happened, what's going on, spirit. What should Virgo do, Virgo? And other news, you have a lot of good energy surrounding you. Things moving forward, the nine of pentacles. Baby, your hard work is paying off. You're going to get a new job, okay, Virgo? To some of you, there's a salary increase, okay? It's like you are free from some type of financial restraint. You are free from some type of financial burden, Virgo. You are absolutely able to move forward absolutely able to focus on your happiness nine of cups good news coming towards you virgo okay very good news things working out yeah there's something that's coming towards you it's making you very happy yes it's like maybe you find this out or maybe you were unsure of something but now you know it's like the door is being unlocked for you mm -hmm. the door is being unlocked Spirit says that Virgo, make a list. You may also be making a list, very Virgo style, okay? Um, there's somewhere that you could be going or somewhere that you are maybe needing to, or something you're needing to budget for. I'm getting a list that's very important right now, okay? Yes, Virgo, you, you, but besides, you know, that little bit of energy, Spirit, so first things first, for, uh, Spirit, what do you want Virgo to do about this? And then we will take a look to see just what's happening overall. You're resting, healing though, retreating, recharging your energy, getting some rest, focusing on you. Um, Virgo, spirit says, 
But what do you want or what do I want you to do about this situation? The three of swords, something makes you cry. I don't know, Virgo, in a way it's like maybe you really had to think about something because with this three of swords, there's this betrayal energy. There's this heartbreak. There is this argument, this disagreement. You know what I'm saying? This energy where you feel heartbroken, where you really feel torn between a situation. You're like, damn, I don't know what to do. Some of you could be grieving. My condolences. But it's like a situation that's beating you up, eating you up. You're blaming yourself for this. And Spirit asks you not to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't blame yourself. That three of swords. Yes, you feel torn. You feel like you're in the middle. A rock in a hard place. Don't know what to do. Very sad energy. You could be crying, Virgo. All of a sudden, all of these energies or all of these emotions just pop back out. Spirit says to give rest. Sleep on it. Don't allow it to stress you out. Give rest. Quiet your mind, okay? What's going to be the outcome? Yeah, but Spirit says don't allow this to stress you out. Their problems are not even your problems, Virgo. Honestly, something isn't going to change regardless, okay? So this has nothing to do, I'm not going to say it has nothing to do with you, but the overall energy is that something's just not going to change no matter what happens, no matter what you try to do. You know what I'm saying? You just can't save certain people. Certain things can't come with you. So be honest with you, you are moving forward. You do have happiness, Virgo. Like I said, and it's just like the past may honestly have to just stay right there because it doesn't seem like it's going to be a lot of positive change moving forward it's like the cycle just kind of repeats itself or someone's too stubborn or doesn't want to change their ways or they want to point the finger at you when it has nothing to do with you you know what i'm saying someone just won't change their ways and again that's fine you know what i'm saying you can't save everybody but it's just certain things you have to remove yourself from you have to be like i don't want to hear about it i don't want to talk about it i'm moving forward exactly the hangman letting go release them because at the end of the day Virgo the only person you can say really is you you know what I mean and don't blame yourself for anything you did the best you could you tried and that's okay again like I said there's some type of argument or disagreement coming towards you but again it is all right it's all right ten of cups yes releasing ten of cups yes because there's an argument there's something brewing here where like I said it just kind of feels like I don't know if you and someone are not on the same page you two seem to have different values, different um, just ways of, you know, doing things. I don't know. Maybe someone's, now I'm not going to say purposely trying to do this to you, but just when it comes to moving forward in this direction, it just seems like Spirit is saying, I need you to release it. I need you to let it go. You're not even in that same space anymore. Okay, Virgo? So, yes. Things are moving forward. You have good news coming towards you. I see you handling your business, Virgo. Could be doing a lot of shopping. Yes, yeah, just overall good energy coming towards you, Virgo. Mm-hmm. But your ancestors want you to listen to your intuition. Okay? You may feel like something's off or something's not right. You're around someone who's not being completely honest, not being completely open. Maybe your intuition is just telling you to avoid something. It's just telling you to not do this. Maybe you have a funny feeling, okay? Maybe something's just not sitting right with you. Because mm -hmm. there's someone or something that's coming towards you really quickly, but it just doesn't feel right. It almost makes you want to hold back, okay? So trust what you feel, all right? I thank you for rocking with a girl like me. I will see you tomorrow. And I believe I will be back on the membership on Monday, okay? Thank you for rocking with a girl like me, Virgo. Have a good day. Be safe and God bless.